Let's go to Cleveland, where tonight on TNT you'll see the Cavs and the Sixers. Kristen Bedlow working courtside with Marv Albert and birthday boy Chris Weber. All right, Kristen, before we talk LeBron, let's mention here why one of his starting mates, J.R. Smith, won't be playing tonight. That's right, he is suspended for one game for what has been told to me is conduct detrimental to the team. He is just suspended for what I heard was an incident that happened after a shoot-around this morning. He will be available to practice tomorrow and then available again to play on Saturday. It is just this one-game suspension. Well, Kristen, you and I have spent so much time talking about, it, it seems like a, a constant revolving door with different lineup rotations as Ty Lue tries to figure out what works best. I mean, this has to be just another uh, piece of adversity for this team to overcome with a new starter and Rodney Hood getting in the in the lineup. We did just talk with Ty Lue just a few minutes ago, and he said that he looks at these kind of things as opportunities to incorporate those new guys into the lineup. He told us that his offense has been simplified, not just for the new guys, but for the guys that have been here as well. He talked about reincorporating Kevin Love back into the lineup and saying that he's played the five position all season long. He's going to have to learn how to play the four position. So everything's been simplified. It's not just for the four new guys, but for the guys that have been there all season long as well. Well, it, it doesn't seem to be affecting LeBron's numbers, right, coming off one of the greatest months he's ever had. But he's trying to incorporate these new guys, trying to figure out how to win, while also dealing with the outside distractions of the rumors coming from cities like Philadelphia and so many others, Kristen, that have come about this season. Yeah, Jared, you call it a distraction, but he was asked that specific question this morning at shoot-around, and he said it's not a distraction, it's flattering. He said that in my 15th season that I'm still being recruited, <coughs> that these teams are not teams exactly because he didn't want to get into a tampering violation, but that guys still want me to come play for them, he said, and I quote, it's dope. <laughs> Love it from LeBron, right? It's dope. Uh, what about uh, another guy who uh, is not playing tonight, Kevin Love? What, what is the latest status update for when we could see him on the court? I talked to Kevin at the All-Star break when we were just kind of hanging out by the All-Star practice that Saturday morning. He said that he was feeling a lot better at that point, and so now we're two weeks out of that. He said that he was looking at just a few weeks after the All-Star break to return. I asked Ty Lue before this game about Kevin Love's return. He said that he doesn't have any date to put on it just yet. They're still looking at the end of this month or perhaps the beginning of April. Of course, he was concerned with getting Kevin reintroduced into that lineup, playing the four position instead of the five, but he said as soon as he's cleared, we're ready to have him back. A member of the Cavs staff, though, did tell me that he's been going through non-contact shooting drills. He's also been conditioning. And Kevin himself told me at the All-Star break that it's been a bit of an easier injury simply because it is his left hand. He's been able to do everything else that he would typically do throughout practices, apart from, of course, those contact drills. In the meantime, Kristen, give us somebody, one of the new four guys to look for tonight in terms of what you're hearing around the team that is, is really being looked to take that next step to figure out how he works best within the lineup. They've turned on the music now here at the queue, and as you know, it is historically loud, so I don't know exactly who you just asked me about, but because we're looking at the four new guys, I'm guessing you're asking me about incorporating them into this lineup, Jared? Yes? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, again, it goes back to what Ty was telling us about simplifying not only things offensively, but defensively as well, because it's not just for these new guys as he's trying to figure out this rotation. This is a rotation that has not been solidified all season long. And he told that he was very frank in the meeting that we had with him just a few minutes ago. And he said, we have a month and a half left to nail this offense before we head into the playoffs. So he said there will be some things, as Ty Lue and the Cavaliers have done in the past, that are going to be saved specifically specifically for the playoffs, but he said things have to be simplified right now because we have four new guys on our roster. We want to give them the freedom offensively to find their own game within this within this system, but he said, you know, right now it's not just about simplifying things for them. It's about simplifying things for the guys who have been here as well and really nailing down a rotation in this last month and a half.